Bum, 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 bum. Hey, everybody. Last Outrider here with a quick follow-up video before my main video. A while ago, I made a video about these Astartes uh, fan-made movies. These little, you know, two-minute long videos that are in four parts now, taking over the last two years to come out. Apparently... There's a little five-second disclaimer at the beginning of part one, which I missed, because I thought it was your standard, this is a fan-made movie and in no way represented by Games Workshop disclaimer. But actually, it talked about the video. <coughs> Sorry. And I will admit when I'm wrong. Yes, I know. That doesn't happen on the internet. But, at the beginning of the f part one, it says that this is the Retributors chapter. No, there's no known chapter called the Retributors, so it's purely a homebrew, homemade chapter, which has come to fight rebels. So they're not... Ca well, maybe they're ca they didn't look like chaos anyway. Now, I watched these videos again, and this time with a far more technical and critical eye than I did the first time. And I have even more observations for you. First, Space Marines usually don't answer this type of situation. This is a small incursion which seems to be perfectly capable of being happen handled by an Imperial Guard or Imperial Navy um, without the need of a Space Marines. This seems to be a tiny outpost. Uh, why are they there? I don't know. Next, the, uh, the, the and this is the big thing, uh, and this is purely technical now. There seems to be a problem with scale. <coughs> Sorry, again. As we know, Space Marines are quite large compared to standard humans. Now, when we watch this little Psyker combat scene that happens in the last part, first we see these two Psykers order the Imperial Guard rebels off. And we notice that they are normal human size. Now, this means when these Astartes come to attack them, either they grew three feet, or these are very short space marines. Notice, for example, that this space marine who threw away his plasma pistol to draw a combat knife, we're going to leave how idiotic that is for another discussion. But a Space Marine combat knife, according to the size of the standard Astarte, being around eight feet tall, more in combat in, in power armor, is about one meter or three feet long. It's about the size of a sword to a normal human. <coughs> we can clearly see this is not the case. Which means that those psychers are about the same size as a space marine in power armor, unarmored. If this video was supposed to be directed accurately, those space marine charging these psychers, the average human only coming up maybe Maybe if they're tall, you might get up to collarbone level, but usually nipple level on a, on, a, on a space marine in armor, if that. These guys are obviously not coming up to that level, and this combat knife is uh, about the same length as a normal knife is to a normal person. Which means there is a real problem with scale in the directing of this video. Something that the makers of this video made a big mistake on. 
forget the storyline. Let's just look at the graphics and the directing of it. If they are trying to pr use this as a sales pitch for somebody to hire them to make some type of animated uh, short or something for their portfolio, this is a big foobar. Those two psychers should be tiny compared to the Space Marines charging them. That combat knife should have freaking cut this guy's head off. They should be like fighting children, but somehow they changed from the size of a normal human to the size of a Space Marine. Well, that is an editorial problem. Like I said, the fact that they also apparently went from a squad of Space Marines landing on to the base to just two of them charging these guys is more of a question, a narrative problem. But let's just say that they're not writers, and so narrative is not important. Secondly, <coughs> what are these guys guarding? After they killed them, it appears that these two space marines no longer really have a goal right i mean if these are guarding something then attacking and killing them isn't the main mission here getting past them off to whatever the main objective is they should have gone straight to doing that when it's done if they kill them and then just stand around like that was it that was the main mission which it obviously isn't but again, that's a narrative issue. <coughs> Sorry. Just getting over a cold. So, from my standpoint, these videos have issues on both technical and narrative sides, which means that they are not excellent calling cards for whosoever's making them. just my 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 uh, take on this uh, who knows what part five is going to look like or when it's going to come out or or if they can even fix that at this time um that's my follow-up to that i hope you enjoy it i am now going to go back and release my main video which will be coming out soon bye